Hello everyone, so today will be a video about attempting to fix AC in my Audi A6 C7 2014 and uh, maybe you have the same problem the code is 00, oh, sorry, 00256 if I'm not mistaken so I bought this sensor from Aliexpress, it's like Chinese sensor but I think it should be okay because a lot of reviews were positive so you can see the link in the description and the part number in the description what we need we need a trim removal tools because we need to open our way to this sensor also we need deep 24 socket it should be deep because sensor has as you can see sensor has the connection port on top so we need tool that can be fit on top of this connection port also we need sockets uh, oh sorry wrenches and even i have uh, i have even torque wrench but i don't know will i use it or not because you don't need to torque like super hard this um, sensor because you can snap it so you need to be very gentle because uh, all the seals will be done by o-ring and o-ring you need a special type of o-ring you can buy original one or you can buy like me set it's not original set but it is a special o-rings different material with um, for working with free on so it's like green ones so let me open and show you everything okay guys let's go so first of all you need your trim removal tool and here you have two pins on the front of your car so you need to pop the middle one i'll just put it uh, somewhere here behind the camera second one looks like this and then you need to pry out to like this I will put it uh, back in my boot. Okay, now from forward, from front side, we need to pop out our piece of trim. And that's it. And here we go, here is the sensor on the right side. So let me put you somehow that you can see what I'm doing. Maybe something like this. Oh, I think it should be fine, right? I think you can see it. Okay, first of all, we need to disconnect the connector. We need to press here on top. Pull out. Pretty easy. Okay, then let me try to use my socket. Here I have it. And let's try. Can we do it? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. And let's try to undo it. Okay, nice. Nicely done. Let me continue to do it by hand. Oh, a little bit of freon, just a little bit, just psh, small. Psh. And here we go. Here we go. The tightening force was really, really low, extremely low. So, guys, don't over tight it. Next step, we need to take out the old O-ring. So, I'm gonna use tools like this to take out the old O-ring. Oh, it's actually in pretty good condition. It's pretty elastic. Oh, I dropped it, but I can see it, so. With my other tool. Yeah, there we go. 
careful not to drop it so it's like this now i'm gonna find the same one from my set okay guys as you can see i found almost ideal match uh, maybe on the video you don't see it but like this it's it looks very very close to the original so i will try to put it on now circle of motion well not a very easy thing to do let me try to use things like that okay it sits nicely on the bottom Let's take our new sensor and place it on top. Let me take my socket. The most important is be gentle and Gentle, gently, gently, gently push it on, push it on like this. Yeah, and it's on. It's on. Let's plug in the sensor. Nice, nice click. Because uh, we don't need to tighten it very hard, uh, because all the sealing function here works uh, using O-ring, not your tightness, right? Not like how you tighten it. But uh, maybe let me rotate it a little bit more. I think it should be fine so let's go in the car and test do we have this fault or is it gone okay see you in uh, two minutes guys right now the AC is working engine is working I can't see any leaks anything looks absolutely okay and from the inside the AC is working nicely. Yeah. I cleared the faults before testing using uh, OBD11. It's right there. OBD11. Yeah, it's super nice in the car now and let me turn off the car I'm gonna check the fold uh, one more time like did it appear or not hey okay, guys uh, thank you for watching after the testing it didn't appear so there is no more 00256 code so I think it's working I'm gonna give you an update about how it's working and <laughs> how long it will work this like Chinese sensor but it was super cheap it's maybe 10 bucks or something so super cheap compared to original one uh, it appears like everything working fine in Japan when it's now it's like plus 31 degrees outside uh, it's super hot and AC is like 
necessary item. Okay, thank you for watching and give me a like, subscribe and ask me any question if you have one.